the spoons. Well, they were really kind of big in about, I guess, 1981. Then all of a sudden they had lots of management problems and they kind of left the scene for a while. I spoke to them not too long ago because uh, they seem to be back on the scene once again in even a bigger way. They've matured considerably. And it was really interesting for me to meet the delightful Sandy Horn. I mean, this girl is a sex symbol and she doesn't even know it. And I think that some of the guys in the station were really thrilled to see her in the flesh. <laughs> We're back, and I'm, I'm here with Gordep and Sandy Horn of the Spoons. At last, I get to meet you. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Yes. Now, you, I've noticed since your break, you seem to have really matured. <laughs> you mean like wrinkles or what? No, 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 no. Cosmetically, you oh. both look wonderful. I mean, your music has um, really matured. I think so. You know, um, I think our new albums cover a lot more territory, a lot more variety than the old records. And we kind of did the electro pop thing for a while and then the funk mm -hmm. thing and the rock thing. Everything though is good in its time, don't you agree Sandy? I certainly do. Yeah. We've kind of gone full circle. Uh, we started with John Punter in our earlier days with Nova Heart and Arias and Symphonies and now with the new album Vertigo Tango we're back with him again. Yeah. We both grew a lot, you know, John and Spoons and come back full circle again. Okay, you were really, really successful and it seemed like all of you just kind of disappeared for a while. We did? Yeah, that's what it <laughs> appears We didn't notice to, no? that. I think people thought that because we didn't release an album for a few years, but we were really busy. Sandy was in a movie. Oh, I don't you're know if you know kidding. about that. No, Sandy Witch. Oh. <laughs> pick, yeah. a, pick, pick a oh, really good one. Oh, pick a real the, good one. The Big uh, Easy. No, yeah, really, no. I wish. I don't know. It's called Listen, <laughs> Listen to the City by Ron Mann. I did a soundtrack and the band kept touring, but we w weren't releasing albums, so people got the feeling that we sort of disappeared, but we didn't. Okay, did you also work on the, s on the uh, musical score? Yeah, yeah that's that what wow. I went for the audition and Gord got the film score. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> good, good, take, good place to be. Do you see yourself doing more of that in the future, getting into film and yeah. doing scores and stuff? Yeah. I like it. It's a whole different ball of wax altogether. You, know, you don't compose songs like verse, chorus, verse, chorus. You sit there and compose to the action in the movie, which is really fun. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you plan to make Toronto your home base? Or you, do you ever have thoughts of leaving? Because everybody who's creative in Canada seems to want to leave. Even if we did, we shouldn't. We wouldn't admit it because uh, right. people take that the wrong way. They almost, almost expect you to want to leave the country when you start making it a little bit. But um, I don't think we've ever really done as much as we should here. So we're determined to stay around until we do, yeah. you know. Well, I think what's interesting about the Spoons is that you sort of came about where, when the um, music industry was just sort of starting to mm -hmm. boom. Yeah. That's, that's so-called new you wave helped, thing. Yeah, make yeah. it boom, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice thought. I but, think so, because when I think of the Spoons, that's what I think yeah, of. I'm really proud of albums like Aries and Symphonies and Nova Heart, which were part of that whole era, I guess. I'm really you know, proud of that, that whole thing. Um, I don't know where we fit in right now, because I think we've um, sort of come established and been around a while, so people still look out the new bands to see what's new. But I think we're still doing things that are different. I don't know about that, yeah. Gord. I think people have a tendency to stick. But I think once you get successful, you and Sandy have to prove to yourselves that you want to sustain. Yeah. You know, so I think that the people will follow, and I think that maybe your audience will mature with you. Oh, well, they have. That's, yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we're going to see Waterline. This is a great video, English music.